Okay, so this is just a, a little video to talk about exclusive OR or XOR. Um, so you know that um, already that an OR gate looks like this. And if we have one of these inputs as a one, the output's going to be a one. And that doesn't matter whether both of them are one or whether that one is that way round, doesn't matter. It's going to be an output of one. The only time when this is an output of naught is if both inputs are naught. If both inputs are naught, the output would then be naught as well. So that's um, a standard OR gate. You can also have an exclusive OR gate, which looks a bit like this. It's got like an extra line on there. Um, apologies for my drawing. Sometimes called XOR. So XOR exclusive OR. So with this one, if we have the inputs of A and B, and we'll say that this is the output Q, we can look at the truth table. And as ever, we're gonna have the same inputs as usual. So naught or naught, naught exclusive or naught is still going to be naught because there's no input and there's no output there. Naught or one, and that is an or, so that's going to be one. One or naught, that's an or, so that's going to be one. But one and one is not an or. So any, anymore, it's not a standard or, they're both one. So that's going to come out as, as naught. So the exclusive or truth table has a one only when the inputs are opposite. So when you have a naught and a one or a one and a naught. So two noughts will be a naught and two ones will be a one. So that's exclusive or or XOR, exclusive or.